Satan's internet. This is the expo. It's 3D. <laughs> Greetings, Internet! This is EX Porygon slash Alia Pro, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Labyrinth of Toho. Alright, so last time, um, I believe we, um, we finally killed Tamspo, because I, I always lose to those guys for some reason, and then promptly ran into the next one, because I can't get enough of flowing hellfire, apparently. Uh, after that failure, we went to beat Yugi, and so because of that, we actually have not reached the uh, eighth floor, so let's go there for real this time. Yeah, I'll leave that frozen frog for later, but not too much longer. We will be, we will be doing that soon. But now we have reached the eighth floor. That's right. I, oh wait, I forgot. There's no relay point. I did walk here briefly. Oh my god. Okay, well, we fortunately we went over these enemies already, so I'm just gonna probably cut most of this out. So as you may as you may recall, this floor has four. Four little mini boss type enemies. They're called Kalamas Souls, and in order to, in order to recruit Kamachi, you need to defeat all four of them. Here, as soon as Kamachi, as soon as you speak to her, and I don't remember exactly where they are. I think they're in roughly the four corners of this floor. But because it's so because this floor is so open, you may accidentally run into them by accident. <laughs> Got a chance to explain. That's why I'm walking so slowly. So. I'm going to be. I'm going to somewhat be careful, but I am. I do. I am prepared to to fight them if I do run into them. Jeez, the encounter rate here is high. At least it feels like it is. I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting unlucky. Let's get some characters swapped in and out. I do want to be careful that I keep a certain that I keep at least a a few of particular party members in at a time. It'll become very clear. So, okay, I guess I. Let's, Let's not bother being cryptic. These enemies inflict death on you. And I only have a limited amount of death resist items. I've already passed them out to key party members. I'm trying to make sure I have at least one of those party members out if I accidentally run into the thing. So, um, I don't immediately get wiped. But do it because of bad luck. It could happen. I'm sure it's happened before. Hmm, I'm probably gonna have to make multiple trips to do this. I'm also not going to- I also don't think this is going to be a super eventful episode, so I'll probably just chime back in once I actually find the damn things, or if anything else of interest happens. There are items here. I- I think. I really don't remember what is on this floor, to be honest. I'm just going to be exploring in random directions for the time being. Oh! What? what stairs! You know, the stairs are about the last thing I expected to find, uh, first. <laughs> Alright! Oh, I, I, I don't get your references. What the hell? Oh, okay. Yep, yeah, this is- <laughs> please, yes. Like you say, you kind of know where the reference came from, maybe. Alright, well, ninth floor. Alright, relay point. I guess it's a good place to uh, head back and uh, restock. I expected to run into at least one of the Calamitous Souls before randomly finding the stairs. I'm serious, I did not consult the map before doing this, so I don't remember where the stairs were, and there we go, I found them. Yeah, I guess we can just start from the ninth floor and head back to the eighth. And, okay, well, decent part of the map, that's probably like a quarter of it filled out. Let's keep going, I guess. Out to the ninth floor soon. Well, maybe not soon, actually. I want to finish off the eighth floor first, really. I mean, I guess you could, technically, you could actually just skip the eighth floor in its entirety. The only thing here are, are Kamachi's ghosts and, uh, and the other optional boss I showed before, Asane's foe. Yeah, that one's optional, I'm pretty sure. Um, Tamso is not, but this one is. But that one is. Um... Yeah, if something else... I mean, there are items here, sure, but... This floor isn't, like, super remarkable outside of that. Where the hell are these ghosts?! 
Explored half the floor! I... The annoying, really annoying part about this floor, or one of, one of the many annoying parts about this floor, is how the stupid goats can just basically be hidden in these no no tiny nooks and crannies. Like, any of these little spots that I happen to pass over, the ghosts could be in any one of those tiny little areas. Eventually, I'm gonna go back and check every single one of them if I don't find- Oh! I found one! Fine! Oh, no, it's trash. It's okay. <laughs> it was a- Alright, unlike the, um, other- Unlike the last two bosses we've seen, these- These ghosts are actually marked by the boss icon, so... This is just a treasure chick. Oh! A love machine! Oh, that's gonna be super useful for an upcoming boss. Um... I- I knew there was- I knew you could get that before that boss. Whew, well, well, all the items I could have ran into uh, by accident. That's probably the best one. Maybe. I could be remembering. I could be misremembering. Ah, fucking finally! Alright, I had a feeling that little spot was suspicious. Alright, it's not actually too far from the stairs. Sounds like I found it and happened to get lucky, happened to be lucky enough to not run into it. Uh, I'm gonna head back and save before handling it. Right here the whole fucking time. Alright, well, let's get started. Suddenly, an evil ghost. Again, exorcist. Alright. Ghost numero uno. Invitation to death. <laughs> Hilarious thing is, I actually outfitted Patchy with death resistance to make sure she didn't die. Or was, wasn't inflicted by death, but this fucking thing just one shot her anyway, so... Screw you. Alright, so... Some characters are naturally resistant to death, like Flan automatically has 20 death resistance, because she, I guess because she's a vampire. Kamachi has almost full death resistance because she's a Shinigami. Some some just have natural. Others, like Rigel, I had to give items to make sure he didn't die. Um, among the people out, uh, Yugi has no death resistance, but I don't intend to keep her out for too long. She's gonna die to its magic attacks anyway. Cherno does not either, and this thing has so much- this- this thing has actually, Supernatural Phenomenon was a much better ability to use because it's not all mental. So this thing, as you can see, has really high affinities across the board, except for Spirit, ironically. Um, so not all mental attacks and Spirit attacks are your best bet. And, let's get you out of here, actually. Magical Life. Fuck you. It's not even using the death attacks! Or actually, uh invitation to death was, but just outright kill Patchy anyway. Uh, okay. You are real- I made you resistant to death as well. Um. I don't know what to do with you. I'm just, again, I guess. Um. These things aren't too tough, really. Now the are actually your best bet to go with. Are your best bet. Honestly, if you put levels on, you should be fine. As long as you come prepared. The, the thing that these things are really bad about is if running into is running into them by accident. Not, that's where you really run into problems. But as long as you're prepared like I am, it should be a simple fight. Okay, this is deep up resistance. Heck, yes, actually, I didn't- I failed to check that, but it is- It is immune to all stat- oh. Oh my goodness, it's defenses. Wait. No, I read that wrong. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, Um, oh, fuck you. I think Reimu should be able to not die to that. Yeah, she's... I don't remember what her death resistance is at, but it's not, like, low. Um... Well, this thing is debuff, debuff resistant, and, uh, immune to most statuses except like poison. No damage. Single target now elemental attack. How much damage did this do before? 
Why does it do 178? I don't understand. It doesn't have that high defense, does it? Its mind is way higher. Huh? Actually, I don't know why it's doing no damage. Whatever. I need to get some DPS in here. Fucking my my best DPS was literally sniped immediately, so that's fucking great. Uh, you're not doing any damage either. I expect you to do damage. You're not it's really annoying. Um, this is not what I want. I guess you're my next best one. Oh god, that's the attack. That's really bad for this. Okay, it has a chance to inflict death on it, on a, on a full tar on a full party. Lucky me, I didn't. None of them actually got hit by death. I thought Maribel would, but apparently not. Got lucky there. Okay, so I guess I can use a. Um, if you have a spirit attack, you bet it's like way too much. Heat. I guess we'll focus. Sure. It's still really good enough. Mm -hmm. I don't like this. I expected this to be simple, but half my DPS died right off the bat, so it's not. Good news is this poison's gotta be doing a lot of damage. Spirit attack, good. We'll use this. What? These. Huh. This thing has way more defense than I thought it did. You know, those defense numbers are really high, but... Ah! Oh no, Sanai's probably dead. Nobody's actually died to death yet. <laughs> Where is Alright, Yugi, I think, I think I'm gonna have to go with her again, even though she's probably gonna die to its regular magic attacks. This is a finish this thing of not that hard of a fight, and I'm having so much trouble with it. Let's not make that mistake again. Yeah, there we go. Uh oh. Oof. If I didn't buff Yugi with Miracle Fruit, I probably would have taken her out too. Let's get some healing. Oh, yay! Oh, thank god. I was just starting to think I might actually lose. <laughs> okay, I guess I should... Ghostbusters! Oh my god, the NES Ghostbusters. <laughs> They're wonderful. Alright, well, that's one ghost out of four. God damn, I still have to find three more. Ah, oh, this is really tiring, actually. Hopefully, since I've explored half the floor, the other ones will be easier to find. Or I can just go on to the ninth floor. Resume my ghost hunt later. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Oh. Oh, it's one of the frozen frogs. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, I see where this meant. There were some on the eighth floor. I'm gonna have to do a tally of how many I have and find the ones I don't at some point. I'll probably do that off screen. Or mostly. All right, we found another one. I'm start. I, w I was right. I was right on my theory. They're usually in like corners, um, so if you're trying to avoid walking too close to like walls that look like like too many walls next to each other. I guess that's that tends to be where they are. Little alcoves like that. That can be a good. That can be a good um, indication. All right. I'll I'm not gonna bother going back this time. I'm just gonna. This... I have no idea how annoying this place is. <laughs> how, how, how monotonous this place... Look at how much I've explored. How, how many battles have I gone through only to find two of the freaking ghosts? Still two more. I mean, it's probably one off to the, le off to the left somewhere, but I have no clue what the third one, what the fourth one is. Yeah, whatever. Mr. Ghost. Magic you asshole! <laughs> Every time! <laughs> Well, this time, you're not gonna get patchy. I'm gonna do a defense buff on her. No point in using narrow confines. Um, Kamachi's best bet is surprisingly actually attacking. <laughs> you do respectable damage with that attack. You know, it does take a lot of her SP. <laughs> Good. The 
Apache, unless gets unless she gets hit by deck, probably won't die to Flux of Yamatsu Hirasaka, but we'll see. I I could be wrong. I don't really know what its damage formula is. I'm sorry, I was referring to Invitation to Death, but Flux, she's also even more immune to Flux, so that's good. Alright, nobody's actually died to death. It's died to death. Mmm. Yes. I like that. I'm gonna actually swap for a while because. It actually does damage. You know, ah, yeah, that's. Fuck okay. it. As far as I can tell, row target doesn't matter that much in this fight. Uh, I don't, unless Magical Light is more likely to be a front row, front row preference, but I kind of doubt it. it feels like Magical Light just hits wherever it wants. Which means front row doesn't matter a whole lot in this fight. If I had to. Yes, at least. I'm not really sure. I do not have access to that. Oh my god, stop using that. You were using that a way more this time. <gasps> actually got death on Kamachi? You piece of shit. I guess that's what I get for having all the good luck earlier. Mm. I really don't like this. <laughs> well, there goes half my DPS again. Marvel doesn't do damage to this fucking thing. Oh god, I hate this. I don't use you can almost certainly. God. Raymo? I don't even know. Um well, you know, I guess I can try one of the one of these other attacks. But seriously, if the spirit attack didn't hurt this thing, then none of the other ones are. They're not they're all elemental. It's like buff her you know, fine, that's buffer. Yes, this ability. The only reason I don't- this ability is really strong. I just don't use it because it takes so much SP. It's crazy. Alright, I'm putting Aaron in because the thing's gonna attack and I'm afraid it might use Flux and Flux again and murder everyone. So Aaron's at least less likely to die. Yeah, I thought so. They did that. Okay, you could probably dead. Oh, nope. You were definitely more resistant to death than I think. It's literally useless though. I. Just like Aaron. So many people are useless against this stupid thing. If only Aaron could actually use astronomical in two minutes. Oh, come on! Alright, I think I lose. I All my DPS are dead. This Cherno somehow does damage. I'm very shocked if that happened. Does this do damage? I highly doubt it, considering... Yeah, I... Composite... Yeah, I think I figured it out. Compo anything with, like, a composite damage formula... Anything that takes both its defenses into account is never going to damage this thing, which unfortunately is a lot of what I have. <laughs> There's no way it's going to hurt it. Oh my god, I hate this thing so much. I gotta keep poison up. That's probably my only hope at this point. If I can keep poison on it and, and survive, I think I might be able and, and just, like, survive, I might be able to win based on that. That's probably how I won last time, to be honest. The good news is, it doesn't have a whole lot of... It doesn't have that much damage output. It is mostly reliant on death to kill people. Ah, do you do damage? I... No, there's almost no way. Uh, that's... Go healthy, I guess. I don't know what to do. Ugh. Shockingly, Galaxy Bot actually does do damage a lot. <laughs> I gotta keep this in poison. It's my only hope at this point. I really wasn't gonna see poison damage. Oh god. Uh, okay, fine. What are you really doing, anyway? All right, well, you're buffed and have your. Oh, look at those buffs. You're buffed and have your um and have your SP back. So let's see what you can do. I I, I, I guess. Watch her fucking just get one shot. All right. Um. Does this hit you? Does this hurt now? Oh boy, that's 248 damage. <laughs> oh my god, I hate this. You're gonna do damage. No one does damage. It's, it's all over. It's all over. I. Oh, I, do. 
um, now to keep using common on Earth because I keep refreshing the poison, I guess. Oh, wait, that does that. Um, I want to get Rain Moves SP back so she can heal. God, stop using that! It may not do that much... <laughs> A lot of good you did. It may not do that much damage, but the fact that it hits more, more people just increases the chances for death. These guys, most of these guys are not death immune, just highly death resistant. Eventually, it's going to work. And that's why I'm afraid. I hate these side damn ghosts. If this thing kills me, I'm I'm fucking done with the ghosts. I don't really care about them. I showed you the ghosts. I don't need to kill all four of them. And that's the way it's gonna be. Now we're gonna keep going with the strategy of outlast and let the poison kill it. The it you is, Poison cannot kill the ghost. I still have to do damage to it. I think Aaron's. I think Aaron can can do a little bit of dam can do at least one damage with Common on Earth. So, Common on Earth. I mean, I got Galaxy in a pot. Common on Earth. What am I? Common on, what the hell is Common on Earth? Why did I say that? I don't. I'm, what? <laughs> I, I have no goddamn clue. You know what? Swap Rainbow out, sure. Maybe she won't die. Watch watch how you get white now. Okay, sure. Oh, Who is common on her? Okay, the poison did it. I did it. Haha! <laughs> My poison strategies. <laughs> I can't believe I used poison. <laughs> Win. Ghosts can all be explained by the power of plasma. Plasma man's fortunes. You know It is very incomprehensible. I agree, Marissa. Get any of their references. Alright, you know what? Screw the other two ghosts. I'm done with this floor. This floor sucks. Alright, I think we will head to the ninth floor briefly. I don't exactly remember how the heck it's- how the thing is laid out. Um... Yeah, I, as long as this has been going on for me, I don't know if there's a whole lot of content <laughs> in this video, so... Well, let's just at least head to the ninth floor, maybe check out some of the enemies around, I don't know. Oh boy! High pressures! I actually know the enemy names ahead of time, because I did research. <laughs> so, as far as I can tell, high pressures are just the beefier versions of the regular pressures. They suck, but they're nothing like... They're no, they're no more threatening than the other pressures, so... They're very slow, but they hit hard, but they only have basic attacks, so just keep them, sl keep them slowed, incapacitated, and try and kill them as fast as possible. Are damage sponges though. Oh my god, I've been invited to League of Legends. Let's not do that now. That royal flare, fine. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that was overkill. <laughs> so high pressures are a thing here. I don't remember much about this floor. I do know there's a boss somewhat close to the stairs. Oh my, there's a lot of enemies here. Um, the existence of the high pressure is kind of annoying here. I, I want to kill it, but if I kill it and only it, the other ones will be able to attack, so... Let's just try and keep it slowed while I deal with the rest of them. Or we'll just do no damage, because oh my god, I do no damage. It's because the, it's because of the... Oh, there goes the Axe Garampa. I'll talk about him at some other time. Um, it's because of the... Uh, it's because the crystal heads have super high defense, and all my attacks are pretty much uh, physical. Or magic. Rock charm. Oh, well, now it's now it's even more impossible to kill the physical attack. I see a super round trauma does any damage. Nope. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Um. Yeah, you're gonna need a pure magic da magic damage attack. No composite stuff. It's never gonna hit that thing once it uses once it uses rock. Polish, rock polish. That's no, that's a Pokemon move. Uh, rock charm. There we go. Let's we'll have, we'll have to do that. Stupid basic attacks in this game are always physical. In and uh, in Labyrinth of Toad 2, the basic attacks will actually scale with the uh, whatever status higher magic or attack, and I think it also does magic or physical damage depending on that. Of course. You know what? Actually. Now that we've got... You know what? No. no. We're gonna go a little bit longer. Come on. I'll have a League of Legends invite to track me away. We can do this. For a little bit more. Hello, Sapphire Knights! 
And we can also talk about the Axe Grandpa, though to be honest, the Axe Grandpa is pretty unremarkable. He's just a somewhat beefy, but not really physical attacker. Has no notable spells. That, that's it. Unfortunately, Tansy still has SP. Sapphire Knights are, um, have cold affinity, so I will use Wind Attack. It didn't hit that thing. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Rock Charm and Shell Clamp do the same, just both increase defense? Ah! Wait, how does this thing work? Why would it have two attacks that do the same thing? Wait, what size I can this thing? What am I doing? Oh my god. You know what? I hate these things so much. <laughs> Once they're just like, once they're in their shell form, they're just like, good luck killing them. I think this will do it. Oh my god. Um, I think like we have added damage. Alright, great. Your defense is up again. Oh my god. I'm gonna poison you. <laughs> then at least all I need to do is like, one hit of damage to kill him after that. It's the lowest thing. I could, I could just kind of sit here and focus all day. I really don't have time for that, so let's... There we go. Okay. Thank you, Poison. Although, to be honest, it might not have had that much HP to begin with. I don't remember. That is... Oh, it's a very windy... windy path. Oh, god damn it. Oh my god, I'm quickly hating these stupid-ass... Um... I already forgot what they're called. Crystal heads. I, I didn't want to do that. Uh, I don't have a significant enough magic multi-target magic damage source to kill them. Maribel, but again, Maribel is just she's starting to get there. She almost has enough SP to be useful, but she really hasn't reached it yet. Hopefully, liberated abilities. One shot these guys. Come on, please. Uh, what? Wait, I thought that was a magic attack. These things are unreal. <laughs> you know what? I have a better idea. I, I'm, whoops. <laughs> I guess I'm waiting again. It's not like these things actually are threatening in any in any way, they're just hard to kill. Look at all this SP I'm managing to get back. Okay. This is what I'm gonna do. Ah, not immune to death, are ya? Oh boy, basic attack. Oh, wow, that's a lot of damage. Because Maribel no defense. Mm. Maybe this works? No, what the fuck? I need to look up the damage formulas of my attacks, I swear. They're not behaving the way I expect them to. Whatever, I'll just keep... I'll just keep hitting you with death attacks until you die. Thank you. Good lord, I, I can't, my patience is running dry with these fucking things. Uh, just keep Patsy out all the time. Mert and Royal Flare, the mysteries they show up. I like that idea. I never thought I'd hate these things so much. And this is a dead end. Of course it is. I'm losing my mind. Oh, a new enemy. Oh. Uh, the Sakura yeah, little thing. Uh, they're kind of like, uh, alternate versions of the other ones. They're a little stronger. They also use some nature attacks as well. Or rather, one nature attack. At least the crystal heads allow me to just focus forever. It's sorts of SP, I suppose. I guess Yuka is a good source of magic damage. Could probably kill those things. So again, I really do need to look up the look up the damage formula for these guys. Or maybe I should just check the stats of the crystal heads because I'm starting to wonder. I'm really starting to wonder if uh, what the heck these things' stats are. Crystal heads. Oh, they have equal attack and they have equal defense and mine. Okay, that's. I was kind of starting to figure that. So you really just gotta hit them with piercing attacks. Although, when they buff themselves, it's only defense, so... But the defense is still kind of higher. Guard. Yeah. 
I hate this floor already. So in that regard, attacks like Silent Selene, uh, Star Wars Break to a very small extent, as you saw, it, man it managed to do some damage. Um, what do I have? I don't have that much piercing, do I? Um, yeah. I wonder if I'm far going with these guys. No, you could won't, won't cut it either. It's you just need to bypass her defenses somehow the other way. And uh, we're back to start, aren't we? I went around the goddamn circle. Oh, you know this is fine actually. I think we're gonna call it here. I think we have more than enough more than enough uh, material for one for another episode. So uh, thank you all for joining me, everyone. Um, I lost my train of thought. Thank you all for for watching. Have a great day, and hopefully we'll be back to this sometime sooner than usual. Bye bye.